housing was always a huge problem. To a very limited extent, debt was a huge problem. Getting pregnant was a devastating problem. Uh, and uh, we developed a system for attempting to support uh, young men and women um, who uh, when got pregnant. Because in those days, there was a moral pressure from society. There was an instinct for exclusion. Uh, the university was very good. It never stopped anybody continuing a course just because they were pregnant. There were some universities that would do that, not our university. Um, but those kind of social problems and any really bad disruption at home, like the death of a parent or a sibling uh, or an accidental death of a student, was not only hugely disruptive to people's lives, but there was no really professional counseling service. So was the student medical officer was you know, a decent fellow and well-intentioned and all the rest of it. Um, most of the counseling and the assistance with the unavoidable uh, social problems that come with devastating tragedies of that kind um, were in our hands, really. Uh, I was just fortunate they had a great bunch of student officers. But really, the main soothing and care came from fellow students rather than from any uh, attached or even external experts. And so those kinds of problems had to be endured. The one thing we didn't have was a long-term economic problem. Everybody who came to university and graduated, or some that didn't even graduate, knew they were going to get a job. They absolutely knew and have a choice of jobs. And that really does produce a different, uh, entirely different environment. Um, because it does mean that expectations, provided you put the effort in, really can be fulfilled. And uh, that isn't available for my children's generation. They're in their early 40s now. They both learn immensely well. But nevertheless, that wasn't there when they were in university 20, 22 years ago. And it's certainly not available now with the added burdens of debt. Um, and I think that uh, as a society, as a, as a polity, regardless of uh, party politics, we've got to do something about that. Because you cannot invite half of the age cohort to go into higher education and promise them the prospect of heaven with higher lifetime earnings and all the rest of it, even though that's true, and then subject them to the kind of pressures, especially the financial pressures, that are commonplace for today's student generation. I don't think it's realistic to, or efficient uh, in terms of marginal cost to do things in this way. There are much better ways to do it.